Hello, in this short video I explain how you can create a professional looking model or prototype on 3D printed objects. The model shown here was printed in individual elements and then glued together. The glued joints as well as the print layers should now disappear and the model should later have a glossy, smooth and above all level surface. First, all the overhanging edges created when the different elements are glued together will be aligned. For this purpose, the use of a file or coarse sandpaper is ideal. Once the edges are aligned, the complete model is sanded off with coarse sandpaper to remove any printing artifacts. Now, finer sandpaper is used to create a flat surface. This way, inoccurrencies can be compensated. Which sandpaper is used depends on how strong the defects are, which should be removed, as well as the resolution used for printing. Finally, the model is sanded with 240 wet sandpaper, so that most sanding marks disappear and the surface gets a smooth finish. For sanding, electrical tools can be used to help and make this work easier and more efficient. For large models, the use of Proxon Mini Belt Sander and Delta Sander or a Dreamer with various sanding attachments can be an advantage. So the model should look like this after it has been roughly shaped. It looks a bit matte and some printing defects are still visible, but the surface is already a lot finer than before. Depending on how smooth the model should look when it is finished, this process can take some time. Now the house should be sprayed for the first time with primer. This helps to detect defects more easily. However, the filling effect is not very powerful if you are losing primer from a spray can. I usually spray three thin layers, making sure that the filler does not migrate, run or create drops. The small gaps and holes should now be filled. For this purpose, polyester putty is used, which is available in every hardware store. The polyester putty has an approximate 30 minutes dry time, depending on temperature and the amount of hardener which is used. It should be applied as thin as possible, otherwise the sanding effort increases considerably. Then the model is sanded again until a flat surface without defects is created. It is recommended to grind the surface finer than before. Afterwards, the model gets a second coat of primer. On these pictures you can already see the difference to the first layer. It should now be sanded up to 300 or 400 grit sandpaper. The step is repeated with 600 or 800 grit sandpaper. The surface is now looking matte and now no defects or imperfections should be visible anymore. Finally, the model is painted in color. In my case, it will be a nice white coat. Before painting, the surface should be as smooth and level as you expect it to be in the end, as the paint will not compensate any imperfections. The paint is applied again in three layers which can be seen in these pictures. The last layer is the thickest and results in a shiny surface. This is how the finished model looks like. In the before and after comparison it is easy to see that the surface is much smoother and looks more like a finished model or a useful prototype. For me, this method of finishing 3D prints has proven to be the most useful for larger models against other options such as epoxy surface treatment or attempts to smooth the surface with isopropanol. However, in this way models such as figures or ones that contain smaller structures cannot be treated, because the sanding or the primer would result in a loss of details. I hope you enjoyed this short explanatory video.